Hey y'all, Carl Jordan here, Pioneer Agronomist. Uh, just had a thought for you as we're uh, under another 50 degree, kind of overcast day with not a whole lot of corn going in the ground. Um, there's gonna come a time in the forecast here where we are gonna warm up, call it 20, 25 degrees in just a day's time. And when we undergo those conditions, right, the uh, the challenge or concern for me as a seed agronomist is how's our seed coming out of the box? How is it handling itself as it's in the center fill? Uh, and I've got a couple recommendations for you. One of those being that you should consider uh, pre-staging your, your boxes of corn as you know which fields are coming up in the rotation to be planted. I'm assuming you had a conversation with your local pioneer sales rep. They said, hey, these couple of corns would be great on the uh, back 40. This corn would be good on the home 80. So you have an idea of where you're going to be planting over the handful of, you know, next next handful of days. Um, with that being said, we can, we can plan ahead and move those corn boxes so that we can get better air circulation of them inside your shed. Um, or if you got a, you know, a, a dry forecast, you even set them outside the shed. But what we want to do is ensure that we're, we're getting good air movement to uh, facilitate that gradual warming of the seed. If we move it from a 50 degree shed out to 75 degree field conditions, the seed's going to sweat and that makes it tougher on, um, on the seed to, to flow the way that it's been formulated and engineered to. So Pioneer, we test all of our seed treatments, um, the combination of the different recipes for two years time before we release them out in the wild for you all to experience. And the idea is there is that we, we treat them in various conditions in terms of temperature, humidity. Um, we ensure that they flow through different um, planter setups adequately but really want to make sure those active ingredients are playing nicely together in the same sandbox so they give you that true best in class protection on those early season insect pests same deal with uh, um, you know fungal pathogens that really proliferate in cold and wet soils so we we do that but we want to ensure that the polymers that we're using are, are are functioning as they're supposed to right they need to be slick enough that the seed moves well through the planter, but not so slippery that you have doubles in the furrow. That's not what we want. We, we can't have that in the seed trench. And so it's really optimizing that and a good way to ensure that um, we're taking advantage of your planter setup is to uh, to take a look at pioneer.com, follow the link below. We actually have a, uh, a seed lab that's dedicated to running each individual seed batch through the majority of the planter setups that are available on the, on the market today. So that could be whatever comes out of the out of the uh, manufacturing plant for John Deere. Um, you know, if you've got a red planter, a Kinsey planter, um, or even an aftermarket supplier like a precision planting. Um, all of those folks, uh, we, we have that type of planter setup in the plantability lab to ensure that we can provide you with optimal settings for singulation. So that could be your vacuum setting, pressure settings, exact, uh, et cetera. So getting that exact um, prescription in terms of how to run your planter based on which seed batch you got from Pioneer is another great way to ensure that you got a, an awesome start to corn planting this year. So move the box around. If we see we're gonna have a spike in temperatures here, once it is time to finally plant corn and we dry out, uh, and then check out pioneer.com to ensure that you're using the optimal plant um, planter settings for your individual seed batch. Uh, beyond that, we, we conduct a lot of seed uh, seeding rate research across the United States every year. And um, we we fine tune those results based on economic factors, like how much you're gonna sell your grain for this upcoming fall, uh, what it costs you to buy your seed. And then folks like me as, as a representative for your local agronomy team, what's gonna make sure that corn's still standing there at the end of the year? How's it gonna handle um, you know adverse conditions like extra competition you get in drought-like situations from increased seeding rates? So we fine tune those, those individual seeding rate results as well. Um, that's not something every seed supplier does on a hybrid by hybrid basis. Um, there are some that'll tell you what you should seed your corn in at, but there aren't many that'll tell you what you should plant it at in addition to what settings you should be prescribed for the individual batch. Um, so just a few thoughts for you with another first glance agronomy thought. Um, if you like this type of content, um, 
Feel free to follow me on X at Cjorn, that's C-J-O-E-R-N, or on Facebook at Cjorn Agronomy. And um, if you're a glutton for punishment, do a weekly podcast with uh, my colleagues in the state of Indiana. Uh, just look, look up Pioneer Seeds wherever podcasts are found and we're your Indiana flavor. So that's what I have for you. Be safe and we'll see you down the road. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.